Sani Bonani Dumelange Abusheni Hello Nda San Dumelang Welcome to you and I am Tabu Mongeze Nilka Malami Nibu Tabu Mongeze Guys, to the new subscribers, you guys are definitely welcome. I hope you enjoy it here and you stay and you call your friends. You call your friends to come and subscribe and like and share. And to my old subscribers, guys, you've been there from day one. And yeah, thank you so much for the love and being here. And yeah, let's go to the channel. And also, as you're watching there, to the new viewer, please do not forget to subscribe, to like, to comment. Guys, it costs you nothing. Let me eat data, yeah. But okay, let's do the right thing, you know. So guys, what I want to what I want to talk about today is not about the story of my life, you know. Um, I wanted to you, even like uh, an awareness, or it's something that we will self introspect because in that situation, that's what I did also, you know. So it's more like an awareness. Uh, it gives you a chance to self introspect, to look at yourself and check your surroundings as well, you know, and the people around you. So coming out to this topic is that a few, some time ago, there's a queer man, a gay man that came to where I work to ask for money, you know. And after I saw, I vowed, I promised myself that I'm not going to help anyone with money, especially like those people like who are begging, who are walking in and out and asking for help and all that in businesses and all that. I saw to myself that, you know, I, I made a vow that I'm not going to help anyone, you know, after the Dr. Mugwena thing. But also, because he's a queer man, I, 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 I helped with what I could or what I could afford or what I could give to him. And we had a brief you know, conversation, me and him, because I wanted to understand what's he how did he get there you know he didn't go into details but he just you know briefed me and when we spoke he was telling me that he lost his job you know and he lost everything it's someone who was working a proper job he's also educated he was working a proper job living the life and like he lost everything and he said to me that he's staying uh, he's sleeping in a like in a place like it's a home vibe you know and you know a yellow bone you know when someone is light skinned let me just say light skinned and his skin tone or color has tended to be a bit pinkish and because he was also smelling alcohol you know and I could have charged him, you know, would say, no, he's, he's smelling alcohol. Chances are it's someone who just, you know, wants to take out the papalas and all that, you know. And now him telling me about the situation and where he stays and what's happening in his life now had me thinking, you know, would say, I don't want to imagine how it feel to lose everything. You know, and start from scratch, you know. But in this case, he lost everything. Yes. How does he pick himself up from there? And question that I had for myself was that where is his circle? Or where are his friends when the situation is like this? Chances are also some, because some of us, we neglect or we stop going home or we don't provide for our families when we start working, you know, and we think we'd say it is life is going to be smooth sailing until the end. It might be the reason why he, he can't go back home. And also, turning your back on friends that you've had from before you became the ish or the big thing to get the friends who are your class. Then after you've turned your back against them and having these new friends and these friends were just there for the season because you were in their league, you know, or on their level. And now you are down there. They are nowhere to be found. I'm just now talking about scenarios of what could have 
led him to be where he is today you know and those are things that i'm busy asking myself guti would that be some of the reasons or not and now it now took me back to me as a queer man us i'm gonna specifically talk about us now my kids and can be also lesbians you know we we have a tendency which when we make it when we get up there the one longer pants gets is not a human being enough or they are not class enough they are not on your level you know it's like now someone who has a car they don't associate themselves with people who go, who are pedestrians you know someone who stays in the lane or the suburbs they don't want to associate themselves with people who stay from the hood or they don't want to date or they don't want to be friends with people it's that case you know that scenario so we tend to forget where we come from and the people who've been in our lives ever since and now we think we we'll see you cannot be like that person you know because you are now up there you don't associate yourself with those people you know so now that becomes a problem when the world tends which got here say i've been associating myself with wrong people you know i've been the bad person but how do we reprimand ourselves how do we do we have people or do we have friends who are honest enough or do we have a family that is honest enough to sit us down and tell us that now i think you need to get off your high horse or now you need to to be on human level or be human enough to understand or know the next person or remember where you come from because i think those can be cases that led to that situation because there is nothing wrong no matter what you better than gana and like things are so bad to pack my issue and go back home no matter it might be a situation sometimes it's hard to go back home because of the ill treatment that you might find or that you might get at home because you are queer number one you are not working number two you are not providing in number, anything number three because if like we being honest some of our family members members they tolerate us because of the or the things that we bring or because of what they gain from us not because they understand us not because they love us but they know what they are getting from us but as equal there is nothing that is stopping you from going home among beds because for a queer man to be in the streets walking in and out of businesses and places asking for money it must have taken him a lot considering the pride listener it must have been taken him a lot considering the pride listener team that we have as queer men or lesbians or trans so good this situation in in pets of sight because i thought to myself go see it can be it can be me tomorrow you know now i need to check my circle who is there for me the most who is truthful who is honest enough even when i don't want to hear the truth but who is honest enough who is there for me when things are going south you know and also now to also introspect myself what kind of a human being am i towards my family towards my friends and the people around me because some people some sometimes people who pick you up is not your family is not your friends but the people you have j around you know but if you're a mean human being or if your level is too high for human beings people not help you even when you are down there or try to lift you up when you down there so to avoid getting to such situations or things like that in our lives i think we need to go back to being human number one number two understand what see for me to get up there i had people i had people who helped me up there even if i did it myself but i had i i, I was i was having people around me who were there for me when i had nothing let us not forget where we come from even our 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 families let us not forget where we come from let us not forget our parents or whoever that we have in our lives who has been there 
it doesn't need to be about money or what but just you being there and being human and humble enough because this thing of thinking that we're high and mighty and that we're untouchable or we are up there we're never gonna fall it doesn't work that's why we've got some gays who are hopping from one place to the next like they sleep here they sleep there because they don't have places to stay but they're too like they've got too much pride to go back home to be honest about their situations and now with that that's also another thing us queer people we celebrate each other's downfalls like each time one goes through a situation it's a party it's something we talk about which smiles on our, on our faces and how one has fallen or how one you know it's also because on how we treat them but also in ourselves we don't love each other enough to help each other enough to carry each other enough to be there for each other because all the time we are against each other in as much as we might love with each other be with each other and all that but it's only when it's fun but when things are going south we are not there for each other we are not willing to help it went to an extent that people are also not open to tell us about what they're going through. Someone could have helped, but some don't know if it needs help or not. And also sometimes asking for help, you might be making yourself a laughing stock or a topic for other people. Guys, this is just what I wanted to say. Let us go, in, let us go back to the drawing board. Let us self-introspect ourselves. On what kind of human beings are we? With the people around us, with our families, with our friends, with our colleagues and people we meet, even in the streets. It doesn't matter where, it can be at the rank, it can be at Groove, it can be somewhere around the corner. It can be someone that you consider a hobo. You don't know what your help, where your help might come from tomorrow. Let us learn to good day, Lisa. I think to humble ourselves. Not saying that be someone's dormant, but humble yourself. Do not be an unnecessary human being to the next person. We cannot be too high not to be able to reach out to the next person who is down. But again, anyway, I don't know what you guys think. That was my situation. I think it just, in a day, just to like sit and reevaluate and check myself and my surrounding and what kind of a human being am I to the next person. But yeah, I hope as you are watching the video, also you will sit and look at yourself and look at your surrounding and the people around you and what impact you have in the next person and what kind of human being what kind of human being are you to the next do you say show me show me because you genuinely mean it or you're just saying it in jay for cloud or just in jay we, we pull my lap you know so yeah guys you know that is what i wanted to to say and yeah until the the next video guys it is mega love from me to you please do not forget to subscribe to like to comment to share call your friends to call their friends to like to comment to share and watch the video i hope in a way this uh, has sparked something in your head you know we're just going to sit and you know introspect and check yourself and check those around you it is love from me to you i am tabu mongezi